Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another edition of Turning the Page. Boy, that was quick. I got issue 15. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, if you saw my last video, um, it was issue 14 of Abram Squad. So, I, I, yes, I am guilty as charged. I am very much behind on my magazine and book reviews. And I actually had 15. Like, it was like right underneath, and it was the next one. So, let's go ahead and cover it, shall we? Um, this is issue 15 of Abram Squad. Abram Squad is a monthly magazine and is uh, produced in Europe, I believe in Spain. Um, and is, this issue is nine euros. Uh, you can find more information if you're looking for uh, how to order the magazine or something on the PLA editions, P-L-A-E-D-I-T-I-O-N-S dot com website. I'll put, try to put the link in the description if I can. Um, this particular issue is 72 pages. And let's take a look on the inside. Uh, we've got an introduction here. Um, let's go back to the start again. It's been 25 years since the Gulf War took place, and in light of our recently published special, I am reminded of what my model-making life was like back then. Uh, and as well as I finally remember my beginnings in the hobby, I am also reminded of how things were before and how modeling fans used to work, learn, and evolve before embarking on a major product project. And also how, within a decade, all of those things have been weakened and twisted. Well, I want to read the rest of this, but unfortunately, I can't read it through the, you know, the rest of it through the through my my turning the page video. But, but it does sound like an interesting little uh, article there, which I assume is by Perret, but it doesn't have his name at the bottom like he usually does. But he usually writes these intros. So, all right, um, the table of contents section looks like they changed it a bit. This one has uh, the commander's display unit, uh, the remote thermal site, which is these are kind of new products and things. Um, and then uh, the turret basket is uh, also marked here. I guess they do all those early on now rather than uh, late at different points. And then we have the uh, T-80BV, the most agile fighter of the USSR. Uh, the uh, Persian uh, Predator, uh, Iranian Toyota. Um, then we have the Merkava 3-2D, excuse me, uh, chariots of fire from Israel. It's a very cool looking uh, weathered Merkava. Uh, and then we have the BMP-3 MICB, a transport with the soul of a warrior. And then Eagle 4, uh, Gephard, uh, the history of the last German flak panzer. So again, the commander's display unit is new products that have recently uh, come out. And they have the KTO Russ, Russell Mac. Yes, I do have that. I, I'm about to do that soon. Um, and we have um, the, uh, that's by IBG models, by the way. And then uh, the M60 Starship and quite a few other little uh, smaller models here. And then we go into the first article, which is the PLA ZTZ 99A uh, by Panda. And this article is by Cesar Gonzalez. So you can see it goes into uh, pretty good detail here, making the tracks, uh, showing some tip tips here. First, I measure the distance between the back of the sprocket and the center of the first wheel with Tamiya six millimeter tape, um, which is probably a good trick. And um, again, going into uh, construction details and uh, basically just finishing construction with some, you know, some reference photos also included here. And I'm not going to be fooled fight by you this time, Voyager model ad, a Voyager model ad. Um, and then we have the T80BV. This one is by Chris Jarrett. Um, so it's funny, some of them I can read easily and some of them are just jumbled. Uh, the most agile fighter of the USSR. Uh, this is the trumpeter kit. And again, uh, going into uh, some weathering. This one's more painting and weathering. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the Persian Predator Operation Dawn. This one's by Imad. Um, Mod, I can't read your last name. Um, <laughs> so uh, then we have, uh, began with a B, the Eagle Four, very cool. Uh, the uh, Chariot of Fire from Israeli Merkava, which again uh, goes in a lot of weathering detail. And, uh, and then this one was the BMP3, right? So lots of, you know, great modeling in these, um, as we've come to expect from, um, from uh, Abram Squad, sorry, I was off t on a tangent there in my hand, in my head. Um, the development of the German flak panzer, and then so this is, I guess, something that they're doing regularly is a kind of a history slash some kind of article at the back that isn't specifically about building a model, and then the turret basket with upcoming kits, and uh, uh, yeah, new Tacon kits, new Tiger model kits, uh, and men kits, all sorts of kits. 
All right, well, there's the issue 15, as my little thingy sliding off the, the tape, my table here. Um, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Um, we thank uh, Abram Squad for sending us this review sample, and we will see you next time on Turning the Page.